Hi there, this is a question from 2017 exam two. This is from the measurement and geometry section of the modules. And this is question 1B. So Mickey is planning a gap year in Japan. She will store uh, some of her belongings in a small box while she is away. The small box is in the shape of a rectangular prism as shown here. The diagram below shows the dimension of the small box uh, are 40 centimeters by 19 by 32. Mickey has a large storing box that's also a rectangular prism. The large storing box and the small storage box are in similar shape. Underline that. The volume of the large box is eight times the volume of the small box. The length of the small box storage box is 40 centimeters. What is the length of the large storage storage box in centimeters? So with this question, the first thing we need to do is work out the volume of the small storage box. So the volume of the small is equal to length times width times height. So we can find that this volume here will be 32 by 40 by 19 is the length of 24,320 centimetres cubed. So this is the volume of the small box. So the volume of the large box is eight times the volume of the smaller box. So the volume of large is eight times that. So two, four, three, two, four, three, two, zero times by eight would give us a volume of 194,560 centimetres cubed. So now we've got the volume of the, the small box and the volume of the big box. The volume of the large story box is eight times, which we've just done. The length of the small box is 40 centimetres. So what we need to do is work out now the K factor that goes between these two volumes. Now, if we were to calculate the K factor, we would have the volume of the small box, which is two, four, three, two, zero. And we would multiply by the K factor cubed, because when we're working in volume, we have to cube our K factor. And this would equal our larger volume of 194,560. Now, by manipulating this, we can divide the value across. So 24,320 would leave us with k cubed is equal to eight. And then if we cube root eight, we would get to an answer of two. So our k factor from going from small to big in terms of length is two. And then if we're working with area, we would have to square our k factor. If we're working with volume, we have to cube our k factor. So in this case, we're just working in length. So we can do a simple calculation of the small length times by our K factor, which is 80 centimeters would be the length of our larger box. So that is our solution there. Looking at the assessor's comments, question 1B, uh, only 32% of the cohort managed to do this. This question wasn't answered very well. Many students did not calculate the linear scale of the factor of two and gave an answer of 320. So hopefully uh, showing this ex example of question will help you know when to, uh, how to find the K factor value and then when to apply it. Thank you.